obviously there's the the on-field drills. Um, which one do you think, for any position, any 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 position, any on-field drill, do you think shows you the most as a talent evaluator from the combine? Well, uh, short of the Rich Eisen run, which mm-hmm. you just played yourself right into that. I we did. can talk about that after. I, You know what? I think it's funny because I've looked at so many positions over the years, of course, and we've focused on them, and we've each each position grouping has a has a drill that I really hone in on, and you know my biggest thing is making sure that we really, uh, you know, we look at the the athleticism, the movement, the stop start ability. That's a big thing for me. And interestingly enough, during those receiver sessions when we moved up, uh, and historical, I think twenty one spots, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, which, by the way, thanks for always supporting me on oh, that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. When, when I remember watching those drills and being really honed in on what it was like to see see the receivers, you know, put the foot in the ground and change direction and separate, those were big things. So, as you know, I'm, I'm really keyed in on the athleticism side of this game. We've talked about it before. So, whether it's a defensive back planning and going, flipping his hips, whether it's an offensive lineman, you know, in the mirror drills, it all has to do with how people move, how they redirect and, and what their body control is. Those are usually drills that really uh, catch my attention. And w- any drills you'd say, I, don't, I just don't need it. Th- th- let's let's get it out of there. If you could wave a wand for the combine, <laughs> Thomas. I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm not a big fan of the timed backpedal drill uh, for the for the for secondary. The, for the DBs. I don't know why, but yeah, the DBs. I'm, well, I just the, the, I feel like the yeah. ga- the gauntlet always confuses me because the gauntlet yeah. it's. Y- you're you're you want to see how a receiver catches, not like catches and drops the ball. That you that's the that's bad. We don't want to see that. We already have a problem Rich, with the catch we, rule. You're exactly. When we get to a spot where we're all sitting around waiting to see someone take it in the beak and laugh, so it's <laughs> it's, it's kind of sad, really, because a lot of us are like, come on now. So it's an enter- It's for entertainment purposes only, is what you're saying. There the are, gauntlet. There is. Some of us, yeah, there are some elements of entertainment. But, yeah, I mean, you can obviously some get, see some guys snatch the ball in that drill, but right. it has to do with the different people. I mean, look, we have people throwing the ball along the line who I like. There are some guys out there that are scouts and haven't thrown a ball or threw back 30 years ago, and, you know, you, it, you're you all over the board with the type of people that are throwing. So uh, it, it makes for entertainment, yes. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.